Welcome back, everybody. We are now doing part three of lesson 22 homework review of the tangents and secants, proofs and problems. So this is the last question. It's still a very involved question though. So in circle K shown secant PEC intersects chord BKD at point F. Now keep in mind, BKD is a diameter. So it's gonna help for us. AE is common to AB. So we'll mark off that part there. AE is common to AB. Okay. And then measure of arc should be arc ED. Why does that look like a line segment there? The measure of arc ED is 32 degrees. And the measure of, measure of arc BC to CD is a ratio of 2 to 1. So BC will make this, uh, in this case, 2x. And CD is 1x. Now, um, I'm going to probably say not join the scale. So if it look, doesn't look twice as big, yeah, not join the scale. Okay. So, so a couple of things. Um, one of the things we know in this case is that since that BKD is a diameter, that BC, arc BC, and arc CD must add up to 180 degrees. So because the, the two arcs form a semicircle. So we're going to do 2x plus 1x is equal to 180 which gives us 3x equal to 180, or x is equal to 60 degrees. That would mean, in this case, the measure of arc CD is equal to 60 degrees. So I'm going to put that in red. Hopefully it comes on red. Oops. Hope it comes on red. 60 degrees. And the measure of arc BC is going to be two times 60, so 120 degrees. So again, hope it goes on red. <laughs> 120 degrees. And uh, that probably helpful to us later on when we start doing other work with the angles. Because we, again, the first question is, we want to find the measure of angle P. Well, you know, we need to find arcs. We we'll really need, in this case, arc A, B, C, and arc AE. Those two arcs are necessary because, and again, an angle formed by a secant and a tangent, secant PC and tangent PA, being outside of a circle is equal to the so, to one half the difference of the two intercept arcs. So we will say in this case that the measure of P is equal to one half the difference of the measure of arc ABC minus the measure of arc AE. Okay, and so we haven't found them yet. Okay, so we also should realize in this case that the measure of arc AE and the measure of arc AB must be equal because there's a theorem that says that the that if two chords of a circle are congruent, the arcs intercept must be congruent as well too. Therefore, we know for sure that arc AE is congruent to arc AB. Which means now we'll call this, in this case, we'll call N and this N. So we have N and N and 32 degrees. So now to, we want to find out the measure of arc AE and AB. So we have N plus N plus 32 or equal is equal to 180 degrees. Now he's saying again, how do we know? Again, because of the semicircle. Arc B A E D is going to have the semicircle because diameter B K D divides it, divides the circle in half. So therefore, we have 2n plus 32 is equal to 180. Subtracting 32 from both sides, we get 2n is equal to, it looks like 148 degrees. And therefore we divide both sides by two, n must be equal to 74 degrees. So this is 74, and this is 74. Okay, but now we're going back to our formula here. And so in this situation, we're going to make sure that I, Make sure the battery doesn't run out, so I'm like, phew. So, 
Sorry about that. Got a little dark there. Hopefully this helps. Okay, there you go. All right. Slight technical difficulties. All right, so also gonna need a little space here. Uh, so I'm gonna move this question down a little bit. Okay, and bring it back to a problem here. Okay, so now we said that the measure of the measure of angle P is one half the measure of arc ABC minus measure arc AE. Well, the measure of arc ABC is going to be 74. 74 plus 120, which is equal to 194. So that's the measure of, the, of a, arc ABC. So we'll do measure of angle P equals one half 194 degrees minus the measure arc AE is going to equal to 74 degrees. So one half of nine, 194 minus one uh, minus 74. Well, 194 minus 74 is going to be 120. So the measure of angle P is half of 120 or 60 degrees. Okay, that's our first question. So I'm going to put a 60 degrees here because we're probably going to find out a use for this here. And not only that, I'm going to move this 74 degrees here by where the, where the arc is supposed to be. Okay, so now the second question is find the measure of arc angle CFD. Well, CFD is this angle right here. Again, an angle formed by with two tangents and two chords actually intersecting. Here, chord CFE and chord BKD. Well, this angle here, CFD, an angle BFE must be congruent because vertical angles are congruent. So, the measure of an angle formed when two chords intersect is equal to one half the sum of the arcs intercepted. Here, our first arc is arc CD. So one is equal to, equal to one half the measure of arc CD plus the other arc, arc BAE. Okay, measure arc BAE. Well, the nice thing is this, that the measure arc CD we found earlier, so that's one half of 60 degrees. And then the measure arc BAE is just going to be the sum of the two arcs AB and AE. So really, that's going to be 148 degrees. How do we know? 74 plus 74. 148. So now we take one half the sum, which is 208. So the measure of angle CFT is equal to 104 degrees. And so, ladies and gentlemen, again, we see here that a lot of times to find, when we're finding angles, we need to find arcs. And if there are ways to find the measure of all the arcs in the, in the circle, it will help us to find the measure of particular angles we're trying here. And so sometimes we have to add the arcs together to make a larger arc, okay? And sometimes we have to just be able to figure out which arcs here we are working with. And so it helps to have colored, colored uh, pencils if you have. Now I'm going to make this full page so you guys can see the entire thing. All right. And so again, having a large diagram makes it much easier to fill in information. It, this looks a little messy. I, I do agree. But you know what, though? It sure helps to be able to have information to work from. So ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of lesson homework number, 20, uh, number 22 for lesson 22. Uh, and I hope that you guys were able to, uh, to follow along. If you have questions, if you want to see things done again or more practice questions, please leave questions and comments in the comment section below. If you found it helpful, please definitely appreciate any like you add to, to the video. Subscribe to our channel and make sure you turn notifications on to find to know when any of the videos do uh, drop onto the channel. This way you can right away get, uh, get a chance to keep up and, and watch the material. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate all, all of you guys uh, who are subscribing and, um, you know, 
keeping up with the work, you know, it's a tough time. And so, you know what, let's do the best we can to learn. Thank you so much. Take care and be safe.